is Tetratonia Dark Prince. Something that has never bloomed for me. I just wanted to show you in this uh, situation how I apply my paintbrush that I've been talking about because on my walk around this morning I was very surprised to see this. Can you see those spots? That is scale. So this is perfect to film what I do with my paintbrush. Just soaked it with alcohol. These bristles are not super fine. They're not soft. They are actually a little bit more sturdy. Let me see if I can remove the scale. And can you see the spots? Here. A ver. There and there. There's more. So you see how effective this paintbrush is, how deep I can get into the crevice of the orchid with alcohol. And I can, because the bristles are a little bit more sturdy than like a soft brush that you would use to wash the leaves with. There it is. I can actually effectively brush the scale off and quite targeted. Now these little guys I think are young because it was very easy to remove them and with that said now I have to keep an eye out on this one a little bit more because I am wondering if I will have a reoccurring problem because of, of course this is topical this is not something that would be permanent And if I have to go a little bit more aggressive, then we shall visit that part as well. So it's a, it grows really well. As a plant, it grows really well, but it hasn't bloomed for me. And I can't see why it wouldn't bloom for me. I had it in more light last year and I didn't want to overcook the leaves. They had gone a reddish tinge, not just freckles, but reddish. See, that would be an older one. But that one's not even alive. The other ones were alive. So because it got reddish in its location last year, I took it out of that much light and I put it in a more shaded location so now I've got the leaves back to an acceptable color and still we have no blooms we have some new growths which I will show you shortly after this one has been removed get off there we go. What a surprise this morning. I wasn't intending on filming anything today, but hey ho, when I saw this, normally I go straight on to the attack and then I thought, whoa, hang on a second, hang on a second. This could be useful. But you can see here, Down here, there's a new growth. And there was one more in the center as well. And then there is a little mealy bug. Still young. No problems. Now, of course, you can see the sun is shining. When you've 
done this with alcohol, take it out of the sun. The alcohol will evaporate, but you don't want to, you know, get any kind of burns on your leaves. This tetratonia is quite um, st sturdy in its foliage. There's another growth right there. And another more mature new growth right here. So these, the foliage here, it's quite sturdy. It's like a, you know, it's, a, it's not as sturdy as a telumnia, but it's not as weak as one would, when it looks like a maxillarius, maxillaria um, orchid. It has sort of a similar shape, but it's not as weak as one. So they're quite tough little leaves. So yeah, that's what I do. And that's all I'm going to do for now, except monitor very, very closely if any more cretons decide to make their home here, because that is not happening. So, this might be its own video, or it might be on a clip added to other maintenance procedures that I undertake. And uh, we'll see. So I'm sorry for the wind, but it's such a pretty day out. I wanted to record on the outside. I hope everything was fine sound-wise. And thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, I don't just say that, I mean it. And we'll see if I fit this in on a separate clip or it stands on its own. But this is how I deal very quickly with a spot treatment, scale, and mealybugs. Thank you very much. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.